Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam back at you again with another lick lesson. This time I'm showing you a really cool alternate picking idea with another quirky idea with some hybrid picking and other strange notes thrown in there that I thought you might enjoy. For this video I am using a Charvel DK24FR HSS in Specific Ocean. This is a new model from Charvel for 2020. Really cool guitar. You guys haven't seen it that much but it's just a killer, killer guitar and you'll dig it. Check them out. I'm also plugged into my Yamaha THR32. Those are the tones you're hearing in this video. No post mixing or anything like that. Just a killer, killer amp with a killer guitar. Let's go. Now this lick combines a couple of weird ideas. The first one's more of an alternate picking lick idea and it goes like this. Like a repeating pattern. And we've got, in this case, 14, 15, 14, 12 on the high E. Then we go 14, 12 again, 15, 12 on the high E. And just get used to this pattern, repeat it. And just the way to build up speed is just keep pushing yourself. And all alternate picking that was, as I say again. Then we move up to another position. In this case, we're involving uh, frets 14, 15, and 17 on the high E. And then we have, when we go back onto the B string, we've got 17 and 13, so a bigger stretch. We start on the 15th fret of the high E there, so. Next one's a little bit more logically laid out. We've got 15, 17, 19 on the high E, and then 19 and 15 on the B. That kind of idea. And we just go up and play them once. Then we give 19 a uh, fret on the high E, some vibrato there, so. Then the next part, when we go through it, is a weird hybrid idea which goes like this. It's a linear pattern that I choose to go through and in this case it goes hybrid 15, hammer on to 19, plectrum 17, then we hybrid 15. Then repeat that on the B string we go 15, 19, pick 16 on the G, then hybrid 15 on the B. Can you see how the pattern goes now? Should be able to roll it together, that's the goal. Then all that's left to do is to join it up with the other octave starting from here. Don't worry if you get them ringing out. Sometimes make a lick sound a little bit bigger and a little bit more quirky that way. Two right notes next to each other, what's the problem with that? And the next one is here. So here I'm making use of my uh, index, middle and little finger. I can't really do this lick without those. Uh, one thing that's really nice about this last lick here is you can mix that kind of sequence into different shapes. It really fits really nicely in the pentatonic. Now this first one, uh, as I mentioned before, the alternate picking lick is uh, just a really good alternate picking lick to mess around with. You can manipulate it in different ways. I, in my own playing, want to use these licks really quite sparingly because the more I depend on them, they, it starts to make solos for me personally sound like an exercise, which is not what I want. But uh, sometimes with repetitive ideas, 
that can be really, really good to put together and mix with other stuff in your playing. So I'll leave you with those. Thanks a lot for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I'd appreciate it very much. And if you're digging me enough, subscribe. Why the hell not? I'll see you really soon. And take care. Hope everyone's staying safe out there.